bet you Woody Jack Nimson check it out because ah, uh, god damn. Now, I've been slacking with the Warren Chirac. Now, how the hell did I miss this shit? Now, just a disclaimer, right? If I miss any coonery going down in Chirac, it's because y'all not emailing me. 90% of the Warren Chirac is self-submitted by savages. The savages are in the ground. They're in the trenches in the Warren Chirac. They email me after shootouts. Listen, that's what niggas do, okay? Niggas will email me the gun they even shot out with, okay? So... Pretty much, after niggas take their pics, they send in their testimonies. I mean, sometimes niggas is sending eyewitness reports. Even Niggas is even writing their own eulogies. N- the savages are so with the shits, they send me their eulogies mid-battle. Now, a Chirac savage, okay, and I get to understand that this guy name is uh, EBK Juvie? Okay, okay, we'll go with that. EBK Juvie, he kind of looks like Shanae to me, but uh, he posted on Instagram. This is according to po- prosecutors, right? He posted on Instagram a video Claiming he was going to shoot someone from the 112 or the 122. Which one is this? The 122? But pretty much he then went out and shot somebody on 122nd Street. Now, it's kind of pretty self explanatory, right? This is some savage shit. Now, according to DNA Info, and that's where I got the information from Javon Steele. He waved a gun in an Instagram video at about 4 p.m. on Monday. And by the way, this happened like a couple weeks ago. I told y'all, y'all been slacking, or actually, I've been slacking. And actually, I know the reason why I didn't do this video, okay? The reason why I didn't do this one is because Meek and Drake, they're beefing, okay? And to be honest, man, at least in that case, we didn't know what was going to happen. We think it could have went either way. In this type of shit, man, we know what's going to happen. So I'm like, ah, whatever. Anyway. Pretty much, um, allegedly, Javon Steele opened fire on a group of people. He shot one man in the ankle, the thigh, and even below his eyebrow. God damn, this nigga's really with it. Jesus. Anyway, pretty much, uh, he ran away. Then he got shot. This is the Hunger Games, man. You kill one person or you shoot at one person, you run down a block and somebody else shooting at you. And it's completely unrelated. And he got shot in an unrelated incident 10 minutes later. This is ridiculous. But it is a one shot rack. Now, he went to the hospital. He was fine. Bullet resistant skin. He's going to be just fine. He's healthy as hell, okay? Now, play this. If Lil Jake t- took 21 shots, these niggas could take like five, okay? Now, he went to the hospital. He was fine. And pretty much after they arrested him, because they, I guess they figured it out, they solved the crime, they figured out that he was doing a shooting. A judge denied him bail because he was already on probation. The judge told him straight up, dog, you pose a threat. And I'm thinking, you think? Now, according to the uh, Negro Savage Wikipedia, okay, uh, he's in Lil Herb's NLMB camp. And he's a rapper, but everybody is. We know that. But uh, here's the thing. Because the most I could say for these guys at this point, man, this is the only thing I could say. I'm sorry. And you're probably going to say this is so mean, but it's true. The only thing I could really say is at least he was really with the shits, okay, I'm sorry, I don't know what else to say, it's season number two in the war in Chirac, EBK Juvie, that's his rap name, and I believe EBK stands for Everybody Killer, come on, need I say more now, he even got a song called Pistol Gang, are we really surprised, I'm not, okay, now I hope, because he's locked up right now, I hope he finds Jesus, I hope he gives his uh, life over to the Lord, and he could get whatever savage, demonic presence exercised from his soul. That's the only way he could possibly ever, 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 ever live a normal life. Okay, he also has to denounce gang activity and gang um, connotation, but he probably won't. I mean, he's with the shits. These guys, they're born and bred on kill scripts, okay? But until then, I, the only thing I can say about this guy, okay, at least he was really with the shits. Shorty Jack in the comment section. Huh. Hey, listen, man, you, you can't force these guys to stop, man. It is what it is. Okay, listen, at this point, it's like pray for them and just get the fuck away from them. Okay, that's that's my motto. Pray for them, get the fuck away from them. It's not like, oh, marching, let's stop the violence. It's like, hey, you niggas stay over there. I'm going to pray for them over here. I ain't never coming over there, okay? It's your boy, Jackie Demix, man. I'm out.